Hey there, it's Jim and there she's Amanda. Hi there. We're about to do a very cool surprise for our Teacher of the Week. It's actually a nurse this week, Miss Dobrowski from EH Green in Sycamore. We're bringing her down to the cafeteria for an emergency. The kids all know about it. The kids are all in on the surprise. Take a look. By the way, big thanks to Dewey's. Thank you, Dewey's Pizza, Thank for being our sponsor Dewey's here. Pizza, yes. Here we go. What'd you do? You did something. Could you open that up? I'm injured. I needed a wheelchair. <laughs> The, the whole the whole reason we brought you is I needed a wheelchair. Come here. Here, sit down. Take take me out there, Nurse D. I'll t I'll tell you as we drive. This is going to be a oh, fun thing. I feel like this is a bad precedent. So so they actually didn't get to meet me. We just came in here and said, hey, we're going to call her down here for a very important thing. Just let's go on a stroll through okay. everybody. That way they can all you know hang out with us. Yeah. So so my name's Jim. That's Amanda back there. Hi there. Amanda. Hi. Oh, can you hang on to those? Thanks. Yes. We, we thought that she could sit in my lap and you could push both of us. Yeah, no. No, okay. <laughs> so we just told all these kids in here. You know them? Yeah, I do. Yeah? yeah, which one's your favorite? Right here, sir. Yeah. yeah, right. Oh, no. Oh, you got a lot of favorites. Friends. So, so, we, we told them that you were going to get something special. So, my name's Jim, and that's Amanda. Like I said, we work at Warm 98.5, and every week, we do a very special award. It's our Teacher of the Week Award, all right? And now, you're not necessarily a teacher, are you? No. You're a nurse, right? Yeah. That's why you had the wheelchair. Yeah. But, but this week, we thought that we could sort of change the rules up a bit because I got a nomination letter back here in my pocket. Hang on. Let me get it. Let me get it. And, and we read it, and we said, wow, this woman is truly amazing. <laughs> and I will say the thing that really caught my hair in there is it said that you have big hair. I do. Yeah, look at that. So, see it says it right there, big hair. So, so you mind if I read it? I don't mind. Y'all mind if I read this to, to, Ms., to Nurse D? Because she's about to win our Warm 98.5 Teacher of the Week Award, sponsored by Dewey's Pizza. Woo! Right? <laughs> we're going to... Oh. We're, we're going to get a whole bunch of flowers from our friends at Dinkins as well. All right, so here we go, here we go, here we go. Let me clear my throat, here we go. This is a nomination letter. Oh, I got my glasses, sorry. Got to put my glasses on. It says, there are many amazing educators and nurses within the Sycamore District, but there is no other woman as amazing as Nurse D right here. Woo! Says, says, your, t your title is nurse, but you do so much more than that. You teach the kids, you teach the staff, you teach the families all the time. It says, here it is, her hair is as big as, her heart is as big as her hair. There you go. Now, you may be thinking, now check this out kids, you may be thinking nurses aren't teachers, but that's a huge mistake because nurses are trained to integrate education into what they do every day as you're taking care of these kiddos. You're no longer in charge of just belly aches. You're no longer in charge of things in the hair. <laughs> now we have stuff like the COVID thing. We don't like that, but you know all about that right now. I do. You know about tons of other medical issues that our kids deal with every day, that they live with every day. And it says that uh, you strive to work with teachers and school staff so that teaching and learning in the classroom can have limited interruptions and the teachers can focus on academics with their kiddos. Now, whether it's having to teach a new diabetic how to give themselves an insulin shot, which is a huge thing if you've never mm -hmm. done it, especially in, in a school during the day, or if it's knowing how to get an ice pack and a little tender loving care, how that may hurt a, help a hurt knee that possibly could also be the fact they didn't study for a test that day. I don't know. That's, I don't know. That was just me back when I was in school. Sometimes I got belly aches when I hadn't studied and I went and saw my nurse and my nurse took care of me. And N Nurse D, I think you do that as well. It says, Lori knows just what, oh, I'm sorry, Nurse D <laughs> knows just what to do to make it better for a student to get back to class and learn. Nurse D is always looked up to and she always wants to build up her coworkers as well. She makes caring contagious, hashtag 
the Nurse D. <laughs> so there you go. How about a round of applause for Nurse D right here? Nurse D, you get you, you get you get 30 seconds. What do you want to say? You gotta be loud. Okay. They all know I love every one of them. She says she loves every one of you. And I love coming to school every day. And she loves coming to school every day. I love the staff, but I love the students probably more. Oh, she loves you more than the staff. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> No, I actually have a fractured ankle. There she is, your warm 98.5. Teacher of the Week, Nurse Dean. Thank you.